Hey guys, how are you going? And welcome back to another episode of this Cricket 22 career mode. In today's episode, we're going to be playing the final Sheffield Shield game of this season. We're playing against South Australia here. We're playing at Blunston Arena as well. As for the standings during the uh, during the season, not too great. Uh, we've just won the one game, looking to make it a second today. And I think a lot is riding on the South Australian Redbacks to win. Actually, no, they should already make the final. So it looks like it's between Victoria and South Australia for the final. We're just playing for a bit of pride at the moment, so let's get around it. And here we go. Welcome to Plunson Arena here. We're still batting at eight, looking at the Southern Redbacks. Pretty standard, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's see how we go. I mean, we haven't taken a wicket in four Sheffield Shield innings now. The average must be enormous. I don't know what we're doing. It's just it's just not a fun time. The batting, we're going amazingly well with the batting, surprisingly, at eight. Batting with a tail is certainly working wonders. Uh, the Tigers have chosen a bat on this pitch. Don't mind it. It's a grassy uh, medium and a dry as well. Is this? No, I was thinking it could have been a could have been a uh, day night match, but it's not. And here we go, walking out to bat six once again. But we always seem to come out around six for one hundred or so. Average is thirty nine though. Nice. And we've only two fifty, so like we're consistently scoring around that forty mark. And uh, Neil Smith, you get to get off the mark as well. We'll just uh, pretend to play at that one. Wouldn't mind a massive knock to end the season on. Just a cheeky turn. Why not? Grant's taken one for already. Cut away. That's no run, unfortunately. Yep. Could be four. Tell you what, that shot is so OP. Four more. Yep. Have they not watched the tapes? Have they not seen that we absolutely froth a uh, sweep? I don't even think it's going to go. Go the ball. Pat back. We could actually run four here. And we are. Good running. Neil Smith is still yet to get off the mark here. We're 11 off 10. McSweeney. Having a trundle. Oh, leave those ones, lad. They're going to keep leaving fine league open. I'm still going to try and go for it. Yep. Mate, captain. Who the, who's the captain? Lehman? I don't know. It's four. What are you doing? Start of the second session here. 6 for 1, 3, 3. Neil Smith yet to get off the mark. Oh, that's a cracking shot. Played it really late. Ideal, though. And goes to the fence for another boundary. Shot. Could be another four. The last couple games, we've taken a sort of a counter-attacking approach. Trying to really put the pressure back on the bowling lineup. Just because we're always coming around 6 for 120, 6 for 130 sort of thing. So if we try and take it to them, try and let them make the decisions. Uh, meanwhile, we can just try and Score some runs quite freely because they're looking to take the wickets as well. So they've got quite an aggressive field. So if we can keep doing that, then eventually they'll start making mistakes, making bowling changes they don't want to. And then we can try and take advantage. But uh, we've absolutely smashed that one to point. No run though. 6 for 1, 4, 3. Neil Smith, 4 of 23. Doggett going around the wicket. I don't know why. So that's 4. Mate. Uh, another bloke who doesn't watch the footage. 25 of 23 now. Still going around the wicket. Persistent. No mid on. Yep. Is that another four? No. Nah. We'll go two with the pat back. Moving on to 27. I think we have fold out here. This is going to be one of the worst. That is one of the worst fucking shots that we could have played. I just got two caught up. I was really trying to fucking launch that one into next week. And unfortunately, we have hold out. Fucking put everything into that one as well. Didn't even go that far. That is so disgusting. I apologize. So we only made, we just made 200, which is, I guess is a good result. South Australia, one for 13, though. This is good. Hunt, I think, is out. Which he's a gun bat, so it's great for us. And I think, I just saw the average. It was 75. How shit house is that? I mean... What do we do? What do we do? I know I've got to put a man there because I love playing that shit shot out there. Right, we've just got to we just got to hope. Bolt to our field and wish wish us the best. So I've got an offside dominant field. I'm going to bolt outside off, but I've got that deep square purely because of that and also that bullshit pull shot. So it just saves me going for four just to mitigate bowling those four balls. And I mean, we should really be bowling outside off. If we don't, that's on me. And it deserves all the runs that uh, they get. There we go. It's a dot. Good. Carter's weaker skill is the cart. So 
Uh, we should just be going outside off. Back of a length. Oh. He's like he's read the jag. He knew it was going to be a cutter. I mean, it's scripted for sure, but like, that's fucked. That's cut. So much for weaker skill, mate. You're fucking in the middle of that one. This pitch has some nice bounce to it, actually. Let's see what he does with it. Yep, fucking smashes that one through extra cover for four. Good shot. Annoying. Something's brewing here. Four dot balls. He's all he's left them all alone. I'm expecting maybe like an inside edge or something. For four. Last ball coming up. This is where stuff happens. I actually think for this ball, because it's probably an increased chance that they'll uh, edge it. I'm actually gonna put a man there. Now is this gonna be a master stroke or an absolute cluster? You be the judge. Catch that? Oh, mate, fuck. Do you see how slow he was there? It's like the game didn't want a bar of him trying to be a wicket. We are back. Uh, Weatherald got out for 99, unfortunately. 3 for 173, they are flying. I need to try with 32 now. Oh, my lord. That was lucky McSweeney didn't smash that because that was a disgusting delivery. Maybe we could take advantage of this light shadow on the pitch. Oh, yes, please. Need to figure out what his weakest skills are. Fuck, that's a shot. Fuck, that's annoying. Four. Fucking chill out, McSweeney. Right, here we go. Gonna go short. Got a couple men uh, behind square. Fuck off, he hits that for four. Are you taking the piss? Okay, I'll put a man under the lid here. Because I'm going to be peppering him with some short stuff. Oh, you fuck. The... Fucking pace bowling in this game is so shite. I should have been a spinner. Yeah. Four. Yeah, fuck yeah. Trying the old faithful tactic, trying to bowl him around the legs here. I've done it a couple times. Any danger today? Ooh. Spicy. We've got the protection out there for it. Maybe no mid wicket or no deep mid wicket. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that shot. That is a chance though. Look, I really don't care about getting pumped at this stage. I'm just desperate for a wicket, so I'm gonna go risky. Got it! That's it! Thank you! Oh, how good. How good. Fuck off. Jeez, we love that. Good little Yorker. Luckily it jagged in a bit, otherwise it might have just missed. But we picked up McSweeney. That's our first wicket in, uh, in five innings. So, thank fuck for that. Fucking hell, this guy's taking the piss. His weakest shots is not the hook and pull. I can tell you that much. Right on. Yes. Oh my lord. He watched it go by. What is up with these fielders? Why are they silly? And is this why we have only won one game this season? Because the fielders are watching the ball go by? Easy runs for the batsman? I don't know. This could be a bet once top scenario. Four for three or four, taking a piss. You can see why they're second on the ladder. This could actually have ramifications for who hosts the uh, Sheffield Shield final, which of course is huge. Um, so yeah, it looks like the Redbacks are really trying to do a number on us, and it's not looking good for the old Tigers at this stage. Not good at all. Pretty sure I still haven't won a game with the Tigers. Pretty confident I haven't. I feel like there's a few imbalances with this game, like spin bowling's easy, pace bowling's hard, leg side shots are easy, uh, offside shots are hard. They just got to find that uh, right balance, and I think they're onto a winner. But at this stage, fuck me, this bowling's difficult. Oh, any danger of a fucking edge, Lehman? Here we go, bringing it up. How's it going to go? I don't know. Maybe just uh, restrict some runs. Maybe get a wicket, maybe like a mistimed drive or something to cover. I don't know. I haven't really done it too much, because I usually have a few slips in the mix. But uh, if we can maybe apply some pressure through uh, this way, maybe we can force a yuck shot. I'm going to go for a Yorker here. I reckon off stump out the ground. Nah, fuck yeah. Sounds about right. Catch it, catch it. Oh, jeez, he fucking... He was sprinting, though. Oh, mm, I don't even care anymore. One for 73. Goes along with that average pretty well. Lovely. Catch. Yeah, that sounds about right. For what? Yep, all he has to do is pierce the gap and we're fucked and love to see it. This is just capping off an almighty stinker of a season for the Tigers. Got a feel for them. No wonder they brought us in. Trying to do, trying to bring someone in just to change it up. And unfortunately, haven't won a game. 
So I don't know what that means for us next season. Maybe just play us as a bat next time. Bat us at four, we're scoring runs. Yep. Fuck off Darren's son. Yep. Oh boy. I mean, we've been here before, haven't we? Uh, in our debut, New South Wales took the absolute piss against us. And we're back. I think we took three for 140, I think. One for 106, so not too far off. Can we pick up some cheap poles at the end there? Not bloody likely, because they haven't fucking edged anything. Walking out to bat here, after just 38, struck rate 88, 250s, high score 65. We're going to try about 21, we're 6 down. Hmm, I think we're still pretty cooked at the moment. Door 98, did they declare? 6 for 479 declared, that is an absolute joke. Well, we still trail, we're still struggling. Kerber's taken 3, jeez he's a gun. Takes, po takes well scores runs and takes poles. Oh, there we go. Leg glance, who would have thought? Four more. Let's see if this works. It looked pretty well, even not with the greatest timings. It was the uh, precision shot, aggressive shot. Just popped over the top, nice little chip shot. Picks up a cheeky boundary there. That should be, that could be one to play quite often. I, I might try it again actually, because there's no one at mid off. This could be a game changer. That's four more. Well, well, well. Now the turntables. Let's try one more over the covers if he's bowling outside off. Nah. Yep. We'll just glance that one away for a cheeky single. Dawn's brought up a cheeky turn. Well, better, mate. We're going to continue to play uppish. I mean, that's clearing more often than not, I think, because the field is going to be in a bit more. This is an absolute game changer. No mid off in place. That means we'll try this shot again. Just spoons and it actually goes quite far it's a one bounce four just putting the bat there pings off the meat of the stick and just goes to town 22 of 17 it doesn't seem that risky either like I haven't edged it yet let's try it again once again it could almost be broken because this is how you play aggressive shots on the offside now hmm Okay, so now we can smash it on the leg side and we can play these shots on the offside. This is an absolute game changer. I've said it three times, I'll say it again. We'll go to the leg side this time. Goes both, goes, goes both uh, offside and leg side. This is an interesting little experiment here and I can't believe it's actually working. It almost seems broken with how good it is. Because you don't even have to perfectly time it and it's going to go. I might actually try it. 30 off 19, shit. See? Four. Hmm. Might have to limit how much I play this because I feel like we could score some easy runs here. But then do we practice against pace balls? I think it works with the pull shot. I just get loops right in the air. Yeah. So that's just popped right up. And it's never going to go for six, I don't think. Like regardless of where the boundary is. We should have run two there. But um, yeah, I don't think it's ever going to go for six. Probably programmed it to be like four maximum or something. I don't know. Um, McSweeney's back. With 35 29, we've lost Doran. Not good. I feel really guilty playing this shot now. Even though we got absolutely smashed via bullshit bloody batting, this just doesn't sit well with me. I mean, then again, the sweep shots and the pull shots. What's going on there? See, not going to go for six. Okay, ideal, ideal. We seem to be timing them pretty well. This is cooked. Oh, I kind of wish I never knew about this because now I'm going to be so tempted to do it every time. I will until 50, right? That's it. See, <laughs> we've cracked the code. We've absolutely cracked the code here. 47 off 24. We could, I reckon we could play every shot as this and we wouldn't get out. Unless we hit it like square leg there because the man's right there. That would have gone straight down his throat. Is that 50? That is 50. 25 ball 50. 12 fours. 48 runs and boundaries. All from that bullshit shot. It is a bit yuck. It is a bit yuck. Actually it is yuck. 
But will I continue? Of course I will. See, this is fucked. This is broken as shit. It's just our third 50 as well. That's gonna be, it's definitely our quickest. Interesting. That's out. Okay, I knew I was gonna fuck that up. That was the same shot, by the way. I played it way too early. I don't know what I was, I was, I was hoping, I wanted to try and do like a, a noodle around the corner, but with that shot. But I ended up playing it way too early. So yeah, yeah I mean, you can get out to it. But that was like really poorly timed. Like you'd have to really fuck it up like I did to get out. And I did, 55 27. Interesting little experiment though. See, look at that. All those shots on the offside, on the straight and through covers. You can play aggressively on the offside. You just have to be a bit yuck about it. Right, one for 20, target 55. They're going to walk this in. Do we pick up a cheeky. Uh, no, nah, no. Nah. Um, do we pick up a cheeky wicket? I mean, I won't say no. Our average has to be through the roof. It's got to be 80 odd. It's shit. I don't know what to do from here. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll just try and wrap this up quickly as possible. And look forward to next season. That's a bit of, that's a bit cheeky from you, Hunt. You cheeky fuck. Sha fuck ya. Last ball of the over. He'd been blocking them all. Hitting it to the fielders, of course. Last ball. Plays a back foot punch for four. Just wrap it up. They need 11. I'm going to give him freebies just to put me out of my misery here. Full toss, slower balls. Yep. Free runs, lad. Enjoy. So they only need uh, seven to win. I've decided to go all out attack. You just, you know, we don't want them to score a run. We can get this done, lads. That hits. And there we go. Man of the match. I think it's Kerba. With that, uh, rocking that lovely dome up top. Yep, Samuel Kerber. He scored 134. He took four for. He took the piss. And we got absolutely reamed by nine wickets. God, that sucks. We we, we finish up winning one game in the whole season. I think one game in one day as well. And we didn't play in any of those games. So we're a 0% win percentage. First innings, we scored 27 off 25. And then we actually took a wicket. 1 for 107 off 25. Most expensive, oh, most, or considered the most runs. Uh, 55.27 via that sheet that I've found. Crack the code for now. It's probably going to get patched, I imagine. Then with the ball, took the piss there. Doesn't really matter. End of the season. Time for the end of season piss up. Get around it. Here we go. We've got a cutscene. Oh, got to patch this up too. Look, you did your best. That was all anyone has ever asked of you. Thanks. We've only had the one press conference as well, right? Surely they want to talk to us about how shit we've been. We missed finals. Of course we missed finals. Um, can I actually... Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I was thinking I wanted to look at our season stats. I mean, I can do it myself, but I wanted to see. Oh, here we go. Uh, a bit more recruitment. So you seem to caught the eye for the Mush One Day Cup. We'll accept that one, of course. Oh, don't tell me. We've got a new player joining us. I mean, this makes no sense. If you've already played for the team, we shouldn't be having this cutscene, right? It's good to see they've actually got the right team this time and not the club team. But yeah, look, we don't need it. And then we're going to get it again for the Sheffield Shield. Yeah, there we go. Sheffield Shield, we'll accept. We're gonna get it again. This is not needed. Oh well. It's, um, yeah, you get past it. It's all right. Uh, can we actually look? Was this just new? This is new stuff, okay. But at least we'll have our first full season of domestic cricket. So that should be exciting. We're gonna start off with a cheeky little one day as well against the Bulls. Here we go, next match in seven days. Nice. So here we go. I did I did a bit of training just before before the game, but next episode we'll be making uh well making a new start in the season, playing the Queensland Bulls in a one day match. Regular me member of the first class enlist day, that's nice. Anything else I need to look at? 73 overall. Actually I can look at the career stats here. So that first season we played four first class games, took five wickets at 85. Fuck. And we took three wickets in the list day at 40. Taking the piss there. Batting wise, we average 40 with the bat, high score of 65, 350s, and then average 59 with the bat in this day. I only batted the twice. So at least the batting's going well. It's just the bowling that's up to fucks. But uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe. If you're feeling up to it, leave a comment down below. Always appreciate reading those. But uh, until then, take it easy.